This video demonstrates how to perform a distance and near visual acuity test. Wash your hands and don PPE. You will need the arc light charts and a safety pin to make pinholes. The room must be quiet and at least 3 metres wide. It should be well lit, ideally with natural light. If you are outside, make sure the sun is on the patient's back, shining onto the chart. The patient should be seated comfortably, although standing is okay. Show the patient the chart at arm's length. Ask them to point in the direction at the ease point. Check the patient understands and you are both happy to start. If the patient normally wears glasses for distance, use them for the test. If not, then test unaided. They should cover one eye with the palm of their hand, not their fingers. Place the chart at the same level as the patient's eyes, at a distance of 3 metres. Start with the largest letters at the top of the chart, working downwards. Stop the test when the patient can no longer correctly indicate the direction of the ease or they complete the test. Now record the acuity achieved. The left side of the chart is labelled in Snellen notation with logmar on the right. Snellen is recorded as a fraction with the test distance on top and the last full line seen correctly on the bottom. If some of the next line was also seen, then write plus 1 or plus 2 for extra letters seen. For logmar again, record the last full line read correctly, but this time subtract 0 0.07 if they managed one extra letter correctly, or 0 0.14 if they saw two. If the patient cannot see even the biggest E at 3 metres, then half the distance to 1.5 metres. If they still cannot see at this distance, then test if they can count your fingers, follow your hand movements, or if they can perceive light. Record what they could see and the distance. If the patient's vision is reduced, less than 3 over 3 or logmar 0, then also test with a pinhole. This can show if the vision is reduced due to lack of glasses. You can make a set of pinholes by pushing a pin through the near card where the black dots are. Ask the patient to hold the card over the eye you are testing while covering their other eye with their palm. They will need to move it up or down a little so they can see through at least one hole. Repeat distance testing with the pinhole and record the results, making it clear that this test was with a pinhole. Now test near visual acuity. Ask the patient to hold the chart 40 centimetres away at a typical reading angle. If they own reading glasses, test with them on. If not, then test unaided. Ask them to keep both eyes open this time. Explain that you want them to read out loud, starting with the biggest letters at the top of the chart. If the patient cannot read well, then ask them to point to small words or certain letters such as O, name letters in the words, match letters to a matching card, or copy the shapes of letters in the air with their finger. Stop the test when the patient can no longer read accurately and comfortably. Record the number of the last line they saw clearly. If their near vision is worse than N8, then repeat with reading glasses of different powers.